I, this is my setup. It's very simple compared to just about anybody else's synth system, but I'm just starting out. I've got the Quark Chaosolator Pro, the Rowland A300 Pro, the Gakken SX Mark II, SX150, and my laptop running my Java application. Now, the basic idea is that the Quark Chaosolator Pro, using the XY pad, doesn't have the option of using MIDI note on, note off messages. Instead, it's uh, CC messages, control codes. So just simply connecting the Korg to a MIDI instrument isn't feasible. You have to be able to do some kind of mapping. Now, a lot of uh, Korg users consider the Pro to be uh, something of a toy. And if you connect it to, to a computer, there's no particular point to having the Chaosolator Pro. You might as well have a regular synthesizer. Well, I'm trying to learn Java, and I figured that this was an interesting project. So what I wanted to do is create a Java app that would take the Chaosolator Pro control codes and map them to the Rowland keyboard. And along the way, I was going to take advantage of the uh, arpeggiator function. Now, one of the complaints that people have of the Chaosolator Pro is that the arpeggiator function was greatly simplified. But with the computer, you can create any kind of pattern that you want, and there's no particular reason to uh, stick with uh, simple patterns. And if you're going to use a computer, then you might as well include the option of adding new patterns from the keyboard. And along the way, I decided that I was also going to implement the default software synthesizer. Given the fact that the computer had enough screen room, I decided that I would uh, assign eight preset voices to the K-Pro and 12 preset voices to the default software synthesizer. Now, one of the things that you can then do is save all of those settings to a patch and then change patches. So not only do I have the option to control up to eight voices at a time 
with one patch, I have an infinite number of patches. The Rowland product page states that the A300 Pro has channel aftertouch. MIDI calls aftertouch a per note, a per key function, and channel pressure is for the entire channel. So I decided to include that in my program, and it was a simple matter to add pitch bend as well. The keyboard has uh, velocity sensing. And when it comes to using the Chaosolator Pro, velocity sensing can then be used change the y-axis. So the keyboard is mapped across the x-axis for a pitch and then the y-axis which gives you new uh, sound functions depending on the sound. Which makes things pretty flexible. I'm using about half of the controls right now, and to go to a sequencer would be very, very trivial. Now, one of the things that I saw on the Korg site was using the Korg Monotron, Monotron as a uh, a frequency and resonance effects box. It's a simple setup, but just for playing around and learning Java, uh, I think that it's served its purpose. And since I am a beginner with music, this kind of thing gives me the impression of actually being able to create some kind of sound. So I have a sense of doing something with this setup that I wouldn't have otherwise.